Hey all, Darren here, back at you with a real quick tutorial on tinting canopies. Uh, I've had quite a few questions uh, during my build of my F-16 asking how I tinted the current canopy and thought I'd throw together a real quick how-to and show you all just how simple it could actually be. So stand by and we will break right into it. So, like I said, uh, during the build of my F-16 back here, I had a couple questions online about how I tinted the, the canopy on that, that airplane. And, and to be perfectly honest, that, that kit came with uh, two canopies, one clear and one tinted. Uh, the clear one I actually broke. I was in process of tinting that one, and I broke one of the nubs off. And we're going to use that in our demo today. Uh, so, uh, and I lost the nub, so I, I, I can't use it. So. I ended up using the the pre-tinted the pre canopy on that kit. But as you'll see, it's not that hard to go ahead and tint the canopy on your own, which is what I had originally intended on doing. So let me go ahead and get the overhead camera set up and we will break into this tutorial. I don't want to make this a real long video, so we'll uh, cut through the chase and get right to it. Be right back. Okay, a couple of things that we've got here uh, to make this happen. One is our X-19 paint, uh, smoke, that is, to me, X-19. I have clear yellow, X-24 by Tamiya. Uh, we're just gonna use a little bit of each of those. I've got my X-20A thinner. Uh, we'll use a drop of that just to kind of even things out a little bit. Got my canopy. This canopy came off of uh, one of my Tamiya F-16 kits. Uh, it has a broken tongue on the back here, so I won't be using it anymore. I've previously dipped this in uh, Future in preparation. I always do that first because uh, if I mess up, I can always take it and dip it into my little pill bottle here. Uh, of Windex and it'll strip everything off real quick and so that's the one we'll be tinting. I have a little thimble here. This is our bottle cap. This has got my Tamiya X20 thinner in it so uh, we'll use that and then of course my uh, my trusty tweezers. Uh, that's what I'll use here to hold it as we spray. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, give our X-19, just a little shake. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to pour myself a fresh thing of thinner only because I think I got some junk in that last one. I don't want to use it, so we just need a little bit. Um, so we'll liven this up a little bit. We'll take our dropper. I'm going to mix this straight into uh, the old airbrush. I'm using my Renegade Chrome. Uh, we'll get, I don't know, five drops or so of this. One, two, three, four, five. It's really not going to take much more than that. This is a, really a pretty simple process. Uh, come over here, get some of my X20. One, two, three. Don't really need to do a 50-50. Uh, we'll mix that up pretty good here. Let's give it a little quick stir. And... Uh, quick shot onto the paper towel. And you see it's very thin. You can barely see it coming out of there. Uh, I mean, we can, we can really liven up one too, but there's no need to. So the goal here is on the inside, okay, the inside of this, is to give yourself uh, just even coats until it starts to get to the tint that you want. Now, I've done this intentionally on this, back, on this white uh, paper towel so that you can see uh, the change in the tint. I also have another uh, little uh, canopy there for another F-16 two-seater uh, so you can kind of see the comparison afterwards. So we're just going to go light coats here on the inside back and forth and the first thing you'll notice and I'll hold this up here close in just a second you'll see it's going to start to cloud up. It is really going to start to cloud up and that's just a reaction 
uh, from the paint for some reason it does that but when we dip this the second time that's going to go away so just that little bit we are already starting to get a tent to it and yeah, I'm going to focus in on this here and put the other one next to it you can see that it's already starting to, to turn but you can also see that there's a uh, there is a it, it's fogged and, and what we're going to do is after we get done spraying this we're going to let this sit for a good 24 hours and I'm going to come back you know this time tomorrow evening and we're going to dip it and you're going to see uh, just how how really well this this technique works here so uh, not not where I want it yet tent wise so we're going to spray a little bit more uh, and uh, just just keep going until we get that nice little smoke tent. Now, I may sh throw some of the uh, the clear yellow in there too, just to uh, show y'all how the gold comes out. But you know, most of the F16s I've seen are just a smoke tent, and if you look at the reference books, you know they're all all different. I've seen some that are gold, some that are kind of gold smoke. Um, you know, I'm not a, a, an F-16 expert, but I, I have noticed that they're all just a little bit different. And I don't know if that varies between the blocks or not, but uh, you can certainly add more clear yellow to smoke or more smoke to clear yellow uh, or just smoke. It, you know, it, it's up to you. A little artistic license is uh, is fully okay here. So, so I'm going to a little bit more here of the smoke. All right, and this is about as far as I would take it with the smoke, personally. And just so happens I'm just out now, so that's perfect. So let me get this focused up here again real close for you. You can see that, and this is compared to the clear that we started before. So it's just subtle, okay? Also note that if I take, uh, let's find something good I can read here, this X-Acto knife and put it underneath there with the words X-Acto, you can still see at this point through there. Uh, now what we're going to do, it does look grainy, it looks smoked, uh, fogged up, but I'm going to end up dipping this tomorrow again in future. And that future is going to self level in there on the top of all of the little grains of the smoked uh, paint. And uh, I think you're going to be quite impressed with what you see. So um, until tomorrow, oh, would you, nope, let me do a little bit of yellow now. Let's do the same thing, but with a little bit of yellow. Let's liven that up. Uh, give it a good shake here. Liven it up. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to give myself about, well, let's see, five drops of it. And we won't use that much. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to go back in here and get myself some more of this. Put three. One, two, three drops of the thinner. Get it stirred up. I'm sorry, I'm off camera there for you guys, but all of those mix of paints kind of boring. We'll uh, close it up so we don't spill that. Okay. Now, over here where I did this, you'll see it's starting to turn yellow. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing. Just nice, even, soft yellow shots in here of the clear yellow with the smoke and that's going to kind of give it a little bit of a gold hue on a mix with that smoke perfect okay so now let me get this here brought in again and focus for you camera's kind of acting weird okay and I pull up that other one and you can now see it's just got a little bit of a gold tinge to it. Okay. So what we're going to do is set this aside and break out my little sprues so the air can get underneath it. I'm going to take that. I'm going to set it on top. And just set it right there. And we're going to give that a good, I don't know, 24 hours or so to, uh, to dry. And then... Uh, we're going to come back in here tomorrow and I'm going to uh, hit it with a coat of the old future and uh, see what the results look like. 
So until tomorrow evening, you guys uh, have a good evening, and uh, I'll be back with y'all. Well, we'll see in like just a few seconds, but I'll be back with y'all tomorrow evening. Good night. Okay, welcome back. And uh, so full disclosure, I didn't wait 24 hours. I uh, invoked the help of my uh, hair dryer <laughs> and kind of sped things up a little bit. Hit the hair dryer to it, dried it up. Now, you know, it, the way you really want to do this is just lick your on its own, but I kind of wanted to uh, get on past this, get this video finished. So for the sake of time, I went ahead and hit the hair dryer on it and it's dried it up fairly well here. So the, the next thing I'm going to want to do here is take my, my little jar and so I have these two pieces of sprue you saw me with, and I set those here because after I get done dipping this, I want to be able to set that on there uh, like so, and then I'm going to cover it uh, so no junk gets on it. But I like to sit it here so that it doesn't stick to the paper towel. Uh, and also we can wick anything off there uh, as we need to. So uh, I'll take my, uh, my trusty... Um, we call it a, um, tweezers and hold that. I'm going to take my future and I like to pour over it, okay? And, and the reason why I like to pour is because I don't get as many bubbles. And I just kind of pour it on, coat it, and then let it pour off. Now, I think the first thing you're going to notice. <laughs> is that this thing has gotten extremely clear. Um, now, I don't want to touch it, but I do want to get this X-Acto knife underneath there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can read that perfect through there now. Um, it, is real, it just fills it all in, levels it all off, and clears it. So we'll take that, get the excess off, like so. Let me get my uh, paper towel here. And I'm going to just touch it on there and kind of get some of that excess off. Sorry if that blurs up. I'm, that's a blur fail or focus fail there, fellas. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set this now onto my sprues, like so. Okay. Now what I can do is make a point out of my paper towel and anywhere that it's touching here, I can just kind of, you know, lift it up a little bit with my tweezers. Oh, let me, oops, that was a fail. Get that picked up again. Set it on there. Good thing this is a broken canopy. Um, so we'll set that on there. And, uh, and if it pools, we'll just touch it and let it wick into the paper towel. I'm not having any pooling. Now let me set the, the clear one next to it. You're going to see a vast difference. Unbelievable, right? So, I'm going to go ahead and cover that. Okay? So no junk gets in it. And we'll keep that covered overnight. Tomorrow... Uh, we will do the big reveal, and uh, you will have a completely tinted and protected F-16 canopy. Okay, so here we are 24 hours later, and uh, as you can see, this is the uh, before and the after. Uh, the clear one, uh, which is my small two-seat F-16, 172nd scale, sitting next to the Tamiya one that we smoked last night. And uh, clearly a difference. Um, this was done really fast. Uh, you can you can do uh, different shades of you know of course our two paints to get the the effect that you you desire. You can do a little bit lighter. You can do a little bit darker. Um, and as I said in the opening, this does also work with with car models and tinting uh, windows. Um, I think more of the just the smoke uh, than anything else. But you could really get a good tint out of your car window uh, for the model car builders out there. So. Clarity. Is it clear? Well, let's see here. Let me get a little something to put behind it. We'll take the paint here and we'll focus up on that. I'm going to set that right there. I'm going to bring this up and just set it right on top. As you can see, it's just as clear as it could be. Remember it was fogged last night? 
So even with the canopy down, you're not going to get that, that fog. Once you dip it in the uh, future, that second time, it just clears it right up. And then lastly, uh, if you screw this up, uh, which I did in the original making, uh, you can just put it into, like I said, your little vat of uh, Windex and it'll be just as clear as it was before. I'll, uh, I'll show you a little demonstration of that here right now. I always told y'all how I always keep my little thing of Windex. So as in the making of this film, this did not turn out the way I like it. So I will open this up, I will pick this off, and I will dip it in there and let that sit. That will sit in there for about 10 minutes. And when I pull that out, it will be as clear as the day it was brand new. That's why it's important, folks, for me anyhow, to cover my canopy before I start to try and tent in future. You'll see already just that little whip right there around. If I pull that out of there, it's almost completely cleaned off already. Almost completely clean. Whip it around, whip it around. Windex with ammonia is some powerful stuff. Get that out of there. You can't see it. Folks, she's clean. There is no more tint on that. There's no more Windex on that. It is clean, look at that. Look at that, completely clean. Completely. In just a few minutes. So, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up, dry it off, re-dip it, and get it ready to go for a second round, and then we will start this again. So there you go, that's tinting the canopies. Uh, really not a hard process. Uh, one that's, uh, with a little practice, is made actually really, really simple. Uh, and I do encourage you to practice. Uh, you see how fast you can clean it off. Uh, find yourself a scrap canopy. Hell, I've got six or seven of them in one little uh, container out there from different kits that have just been screwed up, have a scratch in them or whatever. And those are perfect candidates. So uh, break them out and, and give it a shot and see what you can do. One other thing I want to touch on real quick before I let y'all go for the evening is I had asked in the uh, SU-34 fullback, the Kitty Hawk review, uh, to leave comments below as to which kit you wanted built. Either the Edward Lemon Edition Striking Eagles or the SU-34. Uh, and by the number of comments, we have determined at that point which one I was going to do the video build on. Uh, well, I'm calling it Audible. I uh, happened to be at the Virginia shootout this past weekend in uh, Roanoke, and I picked up uh, this awesome kit by uh, uh, AFV Club. Uh, this is the uh, IDF uh, Indigenous Defense Fighter and uh, really an interesting looking kit. So uh, keep your eyes open. Uh, this one's going to be the video build and I hope to get started on that here within the next week and uh, a lot of fun. So uh, if you like this, please uh, do me a favor and hit the like button. Uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe and make sure you ring the bell because if you hit the bell, you'll be notified uh, whenever new content's uh, uploaded. So until the uh, first installment of the video build, let's all be good to each other and we'll see you again soon. Thanks. Good night.